Question 1. You're waiting to emerge at a junction. Your view is restricted by parked vehicles. What can help you to see traffic on the road you're joining? A. Looking for traffic behind you. B. Reflections of traffic in windows. C. Making eye contact with other road users. D. Checking for traffic in your interior mirror. The correct answer is B. Reflections of traffic in windows. Question 2. What must you do if poor health affects your driving? A. Inform your local police. Looking for traffic behind you. B. Avoid using motorways. C. Always drive accompanied. D. Inform the licensing authority. The correct answer is D. Inform the licensing authority. Question 3. Why should the junction on the left be kept clear? A. To allow vehicles to enter and emerge. B. To allow the bus to reverse. C. To allow vehicles to make a U-turn. D. To allow vehicles to park. The correct answer is A. To allow vehicles to enter and emerge. Question 4. What should you do if you start to feel drowsy while you're driving on a motorway? A. Stop on the hard shoulder for a sleep. B. Open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. C. Speed up to arrive at your destination sooner. D. Slow down and let other drivers overtake. The correct answer is B. Open a window and stop as soon as it's safe and legal. Question 5. Which sign means that there may be people walking along the road? A. B. C. D. The correct answer is D. Question 6. What should you do if you want to turn left at a junction where pedestrians have started to cross? A. Go around them, leaving plenty of room. B. Stop and wave at them to cross. C. Sound your horn and proceed. D. Give way to them. The correct answer is D. Give way to them. Question 7. What hazard should you be especially aware of if you're turning left into a side road? A. One way street. B. Pedestrians. C. Traffic congestion. D. Parked vehicles. The correct answer is B. Pedestrians. Question 8. Why should you check for motorcyclists just before turning right into a side road? A. They may be overtaking on the left. B. 
They may be following you closely. See? They may be emerging from the side road. D. They may be overtaking on your right. The correct answer is D. They may be overtaking on your right. Question 9. Why is a toucan crossing different from other crossing? A. Moped riders can use it. B. It's controlled by a traffic warden. C. It's controlled by two flashing lights. D. Cyclists can use it. The correct answer is. D. Cyclists can use it. Question 10. How will a school crossing patrol signal you to stop? A. By pointing to children waiting to cross. B. By displaying a red light. C. By displaying a stop sign. D. By giving you an arm signal. The correct answer is C. By displaying a stop sign. Question 11. Where would you see this sign? A. In the window of a car taking children to school. B. At the side of the road. C. At playground areas. D. On the rear of a school bus or coach. The correct answer is D. On the rear of a school bus or coach. Question 12. What does this sign mean? A. No route for pedestrians and cyclist. B. A route for pedestrians only. C. A route for cyclist only. D. A route for pedestrians and cyclists. The correct answer is. D. A route for pedestrians and cyclists. Question 13. You see a pedestrian carrying a white stick that also has red band. What does this mean? A. They have limited mobility. B. They're deaf. C. They're blind. D. They're deaf and blind. The correct answer is. D. They're deaf and blind. Question 14. What would you do if you see older people crossing the road ahead? A. Wave them across so they know that you've seen them. B. Be patient and allow them to cross in their own time. C. Reverend the engine to let them know that you're waiting. D. Tap the horn in case they're waiting. The correct answer is B. Be patient and allow them to cross in their own time. Question 15. What should you do when you see an older person about to cross the road ahead? A. Expect them to wait for you to pass. B. Speed up to get past them quickly. C. Stop and wave them across the road. D. Be careful, they may misjudge your speed.
The correct answer is D. Be careful, they may misjudge your speed. Question 16. You are approaching a roundabout. What should you do if a cyclist ahead is signaling to turn right? A. Overtake on the right. B. Give a warning with your horn. C. Signal the cyclist to move across. D. Give the cyclist plenty of room. The correct answer is D. Give the cyclist plenty of room. Question 17. Which vehicle should you allow extra room as you overtake them? A. Lorry. B. Tractor. C. Bicycle. D. Road sweeper. The correct answer is C. Bicycle. Question 18. Why should you look carefully for motorcyclist and cyclists at junctions? A. They may want to turn into the side road. B. They may slow down to let you turn. C. They're harder to see. D. They might not see you turn. The correct answer is C. They're harder to see. Question 19. You're waiting to come out of a side road. Why should you look carefully for motorcycles? A. Motorcycles are usually faster than cars. B. Police patrols often use motorcycles. C. Motorcycles can easily be hidden behind obstructions. D. Motorcycles have right of way. The correct answer is C. Motorcycles can easily be hidden behind obstructions. Question 20. Why do motorcyclists use dipped headlights in daylights? A. So that the rider can be seen more easily. B. To stop the battery overcharging. C. To improve the rider's vision. D. The rider is inviting you to proceed. The correct answer is A. So that the rider can be seen more easily. Question 21. Why do motorcyclists wear bright clothing? A. They must do so by law. B. It helps keep them cool in summer. C. The colors are popular. D. To make them more visible. The correct answer is D. To make them more visible. Question 22. Why do motorcyclists often look round over their shoulder just before turning right? A. To listen for traffic behind them. B. Motorcycles don't have mirrors. C. It helps them balance as they turn. D. To check for traffic in their blind area.
The correct answer is D. To check for traffic in their blind area. Question 23. Which is the most vulnerable road user? A. Car driver. B. Tractor driver. C. Lorry driver. D. Motorcyclist. The correct answer is D. Motorcyclist. The correct answer is D. Motorcyclist. Question 24. You're approaching a roundabout. What should you do if there are horses being ridden in front of you? A. Sound your horn as a warning. B. Treat them like any other vehicle. C. Give them plenty of room. D. Accelerate past as quickly as possible. The correct answer is C. Give them plenty of room. Question 25. As you approach a pelican crossing, the lights change to green. What should you do if older people are still crossing? A. Wave them to cross as quickly as they can. B. Reverend your engine to make them hurry. C. Flash your lights in case they haven't noticed you. D. Wait patiently while they cross. The correct answer is D. Wait patiently while they cross. Question 26. What action should you take when you see flashing amber flashing lights under a school warning sign? A. Reduce speed until you're clear of the area. B. Keep up your speed and sound the horn. C. Increase your speed to clear the area quickly. D. Wait at the lights until they stop flashing. The correct answer is A. Reduce speed until you're clear of the area. Question 27. Why should these road markings be kept clear? A to allow children to be dropped off at school. B. To allow teachers to park. C. To allow children to be picked up after school. D. To allow children to see and be seen when they're crossing the road. The correct answer is D. To allow children to see and be seen when they're crossing the road. Question 28. Where would you see this sign? A. Near school crossing. B. At a playground entrance. C. On a school bus. D. At a pedestrians only area. The correct answer is C. On a school bus. Question 29. 
you're following two cyclists as they approach a roundabout in the left-hand lane. Where would you expect the cyclists to go? A. Left. B. Right. C. Any direction. D. Straight ahead. The correct answer is C. Any direction. Question 30. You're traveling behind a moped. What should you do if you want to turn left a short distance ahead? A. Overtake the moped before the junction. B. Pull alongside the moped and stay level until just before the junction. C. Sound your horn as warning and pull in front of the moped. D. Stay behind until the moped has passed the junction. The correct answer is D. Stay behind until the moped has passed the junction. Question 31. You see a horse rider as you approach a roundabout. What should you do if they're signaling right but keeping well to the left? A. Proceed as normal. B. Keep close to them. C. Cut in front of them. D. Stay well back. The correct answer is D. Stay well back. Question 32. How should you react to inexperienced drivers? A. Sound your horn to warn them of your presence. B. Be patient and prepare for them to react more slowly. C. Flash your headlights to indicate that it's safe for them to proceed. D. Overtake them as soon as possible. The correct answer is B. Be patient and prepare for them to react more slowly. Question 33. What should you do when you're following a learner driver who stalls at a junction? A. Be patient you expect them to make mistakes. B. Stay very close behind and flash your headlights. C. Start to rev your engine if they take too long to restart. D. Immediately steer around them and drive on. The correct answer is A. Be patient you expect them to make mistakes. Question 34. You're on a country road. What should you expect to see coming towards you on your side of the road? A. Motorcycles. B. Bicycles. C. Pedestrians. D. Horse riders. The correct answer is C. Pedestrians. Question 35. You're following a cyclist. What should you do when you wish to turn left a short distance ahead? A. Overtake the cyclist before you reach the junction. B. Pull alongside the cyclist and stay level until after the junction. C. Hold back until the cyclist has passed the junction. D. Go around the cyclist on the junction. The correct answer is C. 
Hold back until the cyclist has passed the junction. Question 36. A horse rider is in the left-hand lane approaching a roundabout. Where should you expect the rider to go? A. In any direction. B. To the right. C. To the left. D. Straight ahead. The correct answer is A. In any direction. Question 37. Powered vehicles used by disabled people are small and can be hard to see. What must they display if they're traveling on a dual carriageway? A. Flashing red beacon. B. Flashing green beacon. C. Flashing blue beacon. D. Flashing amber beacon. The correct answer is D. Flashing amber beacon. Question 38. What does it mean when a moving vehicle is showing a flashing amber beacon? A. The vehicle is slow moving. B. The vehicle has broken down. C. The vehicle is doctor's car. D. The vehicle belongs to a school crossing patrol. The correct answer is A. The vehicle is slow moving. Question 39. What does this sign mean? A. Contraflow cycle line. B. With flow cycle line. C. Cycles and buses only. D. No cycles or buses. The correct answer is B. With flow cycle line. Question 40. What should you do when you see these horse riders in front? A. Pull out to the middle of the road. B. Slow down and be ready to stop. C. Switch on your hazard warning lights. D. Give a right turn signal. The correct answer is B. Slow down and be ready to stop. Question 41. What's the purpose of these road marking? A. To ensure children can see and be seen when they're crossing the road. B. To enable teachers to have clear access to the school. C. To ensure delivery vehicles have easy access to the school. D. To enable parents to pick up or drop off children safely. The correct answer is A. To ensure children can see and be seen when they're crossing the road. Question 42. What should you do if the left-hand pavement is closed due to street repairs? A. Watch out for pedestrians walking in the road. B. Use your right-hand mirror more often. C. Speed up to get past the roadworks more quickly. D. Position close to the left-hand curb. The correct answer is A. Watch out for pedestrians walking in the road. Question 43. 
What should you do when you're following a motorcyclist along a road that has a poor surface? A. Follow closely so they can see you in their mirrors. B. Overtake immediately to avoid delays. C. Allow extra room in case they swerve to avoid potholes. D. Allow the same room as normal to avoid wasting road space. The correct answer is C. Allow extra room in case they swerve to avoid potholes. Question 44. What does this sign mean? A. No cycling. B. Cycle route ahead. C. Cycle parking only. D. End of cycle route. The correct answer is B. Cycle route ahead. Question 45. You're approaching this roundabout. What should you do when a cyclist is keeping to the left while signaling to turn rights? A. Sound your horn. B. Overtake them. C. Assume they're turning left. D. Allow them space to turn. The correct answer is D. Allow them space to turn. Question 46. What should you do when you're approaching this crossing? A. Prepare to slow down and stop. B. Stop and wave the pedestrians across. C. Speed up and pass by quickly. D. Continue unless the pedestrians step out. The correct answer is A. Prepare to slow down and stop. Question 47. What does it mean if you see a pedestrians with a dog that has a yellow or burgundy coat? A. The pedestrian is an older person. B. The pedestrian is a dog trainer. C. The pedestrian is colorblind. D. The pedestrian is deaf. The correct answer is D. The pedestrian is deaf. Question 48. Who may use Toucan Crossing? A. Motorcyclists and cyclists. B. Motorcyclists and pedestrians. C. Only cyclists. D. Cyclists and pedestrians. The correct answer is D. Cyclists and pedestrians. Question 49. This junction, controlled by traffic lights, has marked area between two stop lines. What's this for? A. To allow taxis to position in front of other traffic. B. To allow people with disabilities to cross the road. C. To allow cyclists and pedestrians to cross the road together. D. To allow cyclists to position in front of other traffic. The correct answer is D to allow cyclists to position in front of other traffic. 
Question 50. You're about to overtake the cyclist. Why should you leave them as much room as you would give to a car? A. The cyclist might speed up. B. The cyclist might get off their bicycle. C. The cyclist might be unsettled if you pass too near them. D. The cyclist might have to make left turn. The correct answer is C. The cyclist might be unsettled if you pass too near them.